Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good today. So in today's video, I decided to review face mask. I have never done a face mask review, I feel like, on my channel here. So I decided to bring on some affordable face masks for you guys. Now, I have actually tested this out and I really have been loving this for quite some time now. So I just thought why not do a review video on them, you know, for you guys. Because you guys always ask me to do affordable skincare. So I am coming up with a more affordable skincare. So anyway, if you are new to my channel, if you are seeing me for the first time, thank you so much for watching. And also click on the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. Thank you so much. And if you ring the notification bell, you will actually get notified if I post any future videos and uploads. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first face mask I tried from this brand, this is the Alps Goodness Beetroot Powder Face Mask. So these retail for around 100 rupees and now I think they are on off like with 80 rupees or something of that sort. So it's really, really affordable. So this face mask actually comes in like a powder kind of form where you can mix uh, water, green tea, aloe vera juice or aloe vera gel. You can mix this and form your own mask. So I like the beetroot one a lot and then after that I got the two others. So we have the beetroot one here, we have the licorice one and we have the sandalwood, miltani mitti and neem and turmeric here. So I have all in total three masks and let's start first with the beetroot one. So I have been using the beetroot one for almost a month now and I really love this. So this actually, I like to prepare this like first I will take a little bit of powder, a little bit of this beetroot powder mask and then after that I'll mix in my aloe vera gel and that's it. Sometimes I like to mix my vitamin C also in here like once in a week I'll mix my vi vitamin C powder here and then after that I it will be like a vitamin C enriched mask. <laughs> that's just a vitamin c powder i mix that with everything actually like with every mask that i use so this mask i feel like it makes my skin very very radiant and not only that i feel like my skin just improves a lot the skin texture improves a lot it doesn't do very much of a drastic difference but you know it's so much better than all the other masks that i use because this doesn't have that much of fragrance to it. it it's not something that irritates my skin so i feel like whenever i use this mask my skin just looks very very radiant and overall my skin condition just looks very healthy so that's why I really like this mask. So after mixing the mask, as you can see in the clip, my uh, the face mask looks very red, almost like the ordinary peeling solution. It looks that reddish. So actually you can put this mask on your lips as well because it will leave a very pink tint on your lips. So this mask, after putting it on, I leave it on for about 10 minutes or so and then rinse it off. So this mask, I use it like twice or once a week. You can use this like twice a week too if you want to. So this is something that I really did like a lot. This was the first product I got from Elps Goodness and I was really, really impressed by it. And uh, if you have the vitamin C powder, which I suggested so many times on my channel here, you can definitely mix uh, this mask and the vitamin C powder a little bit. And that mask is also will be really, really good. So the next is the licorice mask. So, so I love the ingredient licorice a lot. I feel like licorice ingredient is very good, especially if you have dry skin so licorice is also good for aging anti-aging purposes and so that's why i got this mask and i do have to say it is really good so i wouldn't say too much about anti-aging properties after using this mask for anti-aging i mainly depends on my serum so with this mask i actually mix green tea i really love mixing green tea with this because it's very soothing on the skin and it actually i feel like it's more hydrating so that is why I love mixing green tea with this. So after putting the mask on to my skin, I feel like the texture is not as smooth. Whereas the beetroot one is quite smooth. The texture of this paste is very smooth. Uh, but the licorice one has a little bit of granule like things. Uh, it's not as smooth as the beetroot one but definitely you can put this on. You can put this on with a brush or your fingers too. But I like to use my brush. So again, uh, after drying, like for about 10 minutes, I keep on this mask and rinse it off. 
I like to put this mask before going to bed and before applying my serums. So what I feel like is that it nourishes my skin really, really well. It gives again a very radiant glow to my skin. So if, if I have like some event coming up or something like that, I will pull this out and I can sometimes mix vitamin C with powder with this mask as well. And my face is going to look very, very radiant. So with 80 rupees, I just feel like this mask is such a good value for your money. So the last mask we have here is the Sandalwood Multani Mitti Neem and Turmeric. Now this has a lot of properties. This has Neem, this has Sandalwood, Multani Mitti and Turmeric. So all of these are very good if you have pigmented skin to remove tan or stuff like that. You know, just to bring that radiance back. Again, I am someone who just sometimes I feel like my skin goes dull without any reason and that is when I need this kind of mask. So what this mask does is, is it brightens up your complexion. And not only that, it just, uh, if you are someone who have acne prone skin, I do think that this is going to soothe your skin a lot. So this mask actually contains turmeric in it, which is haldi and haldi uh, has the yellow tint to it, yellow color to it. So I would suggest you applying this mask right before going to bed because your, it leaves a stain on your, uh, like on your skin. It leaves a yellowish stain on your uh, skin. So that is why, that is the only downside I would say, but I can get away with it because in the morning the stain goes away totally. It's just for a little bit of time, the stain stays, the haldi stain stays and but I really love this a lot because in the morning I wake up with this glow on my skin which I really really love and I did notice that after putting on this mask that glow is there. So another thing I do have to say about this mask is that you can actually put this on your scalp as well for your hair. It can be used as a hair mask if you do not have to limit this only as a face mask you can actually put this as a hair mask too. So there are a lot of instructions where you can use how you can use this as a hair mask uh, but I haven't actually used this as a hair mask because I'm very lazy when it comes to my hair care routine so I actually haven't used this as a hair mask but you can uh, you can use this both ways so that is also something that I like I may try that in the future but right now I already have a hair mask and as I said I'm very lazy when it comes to my hair so yeah that's why I haven't tried it as a hair mask but I really did love it for my face as a face mask and these are quite inexpensive. Uh, so I really like the three that I got. The most I would say I liked is the beetroot one. Then I would say I like the multani one and then after that the licorice one. But yeah, if you want to get three of them, you definitely can. They all serve a different purpose and I just feel like it's uh whenever your, your skin kind of feels dull you you know when your skin needs a pick me up kind of a moment you can use these and since they are so ineffective, like ineffective since they are so inexpensive uh you can get quite many of them and customize this face mask according to your skin needs so yeah that was everything for today's video i really have been loving this i did not think i was going to love them as much as i do now so that was it for today's video i hope you guys liked it and also i would like to say that if you have tried any of the other masks or if you have tried these masks leave your opinions down in the comments i would love to know your opinions and your thoughts on this brand and this mask too so yeah i will see you guys in my next video Bye bye